everyone! So this is going to be a nail art tutorial video and it's going to be how you achieve the look you've just seen. Now to recreate that look you'll need a bottle of room temperature filtered water which you fill up into a little bowl or plastic cup. Um, make sure it's not something that you care about a lot because it is going to get dirty. You'll then require some form of masking tape or sticky tape or whatever you want to call it and a pair of scissors to cut that with either tissues or paper towel, cotton tips or q-tips, some toothpicks or a safety pin. I use both for this look and you'll see why. Then you pick the colours that you're wanting to use. So I've chosen Rimmel's Green Grass, OPI Jade is the New Black. I'd also recommend that if you do have colours that are cheaper to use the cheaper versions because you do use quite a lot of polish. And then the base coat that I'm going to be using just to make the colour stand out is BYS Nail Enamel in white. So the first step is to apply your base. Now I'm not going to be doing this on all of my nails, just one for the moment, um, just to show you guys. So I'm using a white base, that way the colours are going to stand out more. Now it doesn't need to be really neat, but the neater you get it, the neater it will look underneath. The water marbling. You could obviously use different coloured bases, but I'm just going for white. Now once the base coat is dry, you are going to want to get your tape and have a length about that long, so five inches roughly, thereabouts, and just cut that off. So the reason for the tape is that you're going to want to wrap your finger, otherwise a lot of nail lacquer is going to get stuck to your skin and then it's very difficult to remove and it becomes very messy. So cut it into three lengths. Cut it in about halfway and then one of the halves cut in half again. So you're left with two pieces roughly that size and a third piece a bit longer. Now to wrap the finger when your base coat is dry Get the longest piece and line it up with the base of the nail, just where the cuticle is. You don't want to cover the nail, you just want to get underneath where the nail finishes. Then gently wrap that around your finger. That will protect the nail lacquer from getting on this part of the finger. Um, so yeah, just make sure you don't do it too tight because we don't want to cut off circulation to the finger. The next piece is going to be one of the smaller pieces. And you want to line that down the edge of your finger, like so, and then press it down underneath the front part, just like that. So it doesn't actually get on the nail down the side, and you may have a tiny little bit of skin just in this corner, but that's okay, that can be cleaned up quite easily, but you're just trying to make it as uh, mess free as possible. So get the second short piece and do exactly the same on the other side, sticking it down and kind of pressing it down your nail like that and folding it over. You may also have a bit that's exposed underneath just here but that's okay as well. Now with all this excess, because it is tape it is going to be sticky so just fold it down and make it so it's a bit more flat. And you can do that to one nail at a time or all five in a row. Um, sometimes if you are doing nail art, depending on the look that you're creating, you can dunk two fingers at the same time. So you could do two at a time, two at a time, and then your thumb. Um, but for just this video and for the look that I'm creating, I had to do each nail individually because of the four leaf clover effect. So getting the lighter of the colors, making sure that the caps are loosened, get some onto the brush and drip that into the bowl. That will spread out and just do it again into the center of that and one more time. You then want to get the darker color and form a ring of the dark color. And then a light color in the middle of that. Now 
Now you're going to want to get your safety pin or your needle, dunk it down into the light green and pull it across from both sides just like that to sort of form what looks like a four leaf clover. Getting the end of the toothpick, dunk it down in the middle which will pull the colour closer together until it sort of forms a four leaf clover. Then you just position the bowl, you can turn it a little bit, position your nail and dunk it down. You then want to shake it just a little bit to make sure there's no air bubbles on the finger. And getting your cotton bud or your Q-tip, blow on the surface and then clean up around the outsides. Now once the surface is clean, you pull out your finger and then you can remove the tape, just being careful of the excess polish as well. So just find a bit that's sticking out. And that is the water marbling. So it's a case of trial and error, basically until you get the shape that you want, um, but that is how I created my St. Patrick's Day for Leaf Clover inspired nail art. So thank you all for watching. I hope this nail art tutorial was helpful to you all. And um, let me know what you think. <laughs> Have a great weekend and I'll see you again soon. Bye.